apply this Jim Worthington from the escape pool at the, at the NAC Sports Training Center outside. Uh, I just want to thank everybody for coming in tonight, listening to me, our club members, our staff, and uh, I'm hoping that we have a fair amount of business uh, members from the community, Bucks County, uh, tuning in tonight for the second half of this. This little 10 minute, I'm not going to hold you long because I know you're, uh, you just want to get to the, the guts of what we're, we're announcing tonight. First of all, I want to say that dependent upon Governor Wolf's uh, talk on the 4th, June 4th, uh, we're anticipating him announcing that we'll go to the yellow phase uh, in Bucks County. And if that's the case, that allows the outdoor resort pools and family pools to be open uh, at that time. Uh, so we are planning on opening those pools on the 6th of, uh, of, the, of June, which is a Saturday. Um, at that time, uh, it, it, all the members will be able to come. Uh, of course, there will be social distancing guidelines and various things in regards to the resort, how it's set up in terms of chairs and temperature checking and all the things that the, uh, we uh, went with, through with the CDC to determine. Uh, how we're going to open, but we want to let you know that's our plan. Uh, uh, more details on how we're going to handle uh, people coming and going, the social distancing, all the things that we need to do to make sure people are safe will come out in an email next Tuesday or Wednesday with everything at that point that you, that you want to know. And of course, if there's something we miss, you can reach out to our great staff and they'll give you even more information on that. I, I do want to step back uh, though a bit and tell you that our CDC guidelines met, were, were worked on through my relationship with the Surgeon General, Jerome uh, Adams, it, it, for the health club and the outdoor resort facilities. He then passed it on to the CDC in Washington. So we have really champion this not only for the NAC but the whole domestic fitness industry. In fact, there's clubs throughout the country that are using our guidelines that have already opened up as of May 1. So uh, we feel real confident that when we open up not just the resort pools and the family pools but when we open up the health club, uh, you will be in the safest health club in, in America. Um, so, Another announcement I want to tell you in regards to opening is our camps. Camp NAC will open on June 8th. Again, uh, once we get into the yellow phase, uh, we're waiting for the governor to give us the final go, but we anticipate that. The same guidelines that were developed for the club and the outdoor complex have been instituted for the camp facilities. Uh, we have a tremendous camp uh, director and Amanda uh, Sinkler and her staff. Uh, we've had a, one of the most successful camps in, in the region, I mean the southeastern region for many, many years. It's widely acclaimed, it's won awards. We will again offer an incredible camp experience. Uh, keep in mind, we have a, a distinct advantage over a lot of facilities. And then if you can see behind me, we're on a 26 acre campus with 250,000 square feet of facilities. What makes it very easy to social distance and make sure that we have kids apart and, uh, and participating in healthy activities, uh, not amongst one another. So uh, that's where size uh, matters, by the way. So I mean, we're gonna use that to our advantage. Um, so we're looking forward to that. Um, in regards to the opening of the pool, I just wanna let you know that maybe even the better news other than, well, the best news obviously is opening up. Some tr other good news I think you'll like to hear is that as of June 6th when we open, I will not be charging any of the members for the month of June and for the use of those facilities. Um, until I can open up the entire club, I don't, uh, I don't feel uh, comp uh, comfortable with doing that. Uh, I do want to let you know that there is a sacrifice to that. Membership dues equate for the vast majority of the revenue that's collected here at the NAC. In a month's time, that's almost a million dollars. So uh, I will not be collecting that those fees from you. So I hope you understand I am doing everything I can to accommodate people and make this as safe and one that you won't have to stress over. Uh, I don't want anybody to have to feel like they have to make a decision 
you know, is it am I, or my is my family going to use it? Are we going to be concerned, scared? Ease back into it over the next month once we open up. It won't cost you a dime. It's on me. That's what, what you can do after 42 years of uh, the community supporting you. I'm, I'm pleased to do it. I will say it's going to be a little difficult, um, particularly in lieu of the fact that we're doing a lot of construction right now. But I think it's the right thing to do. I also don't want anybody to think that we're in a rush to open up for financial reasons. Uh, I'm, that is not why we're opening up. We're opening up because we make people's lives better. We believe that what we do is essential to the community. And I also believe that exercise is medicine, socialization, all the things, mental health, that we bring to a community is needed right now. And I'm not going to put a price on that. The price is zero. So uh, I appreciate uh, your, your supporting us. Um, in regards to the club itself, uh, I've been on record stating that July 1 will be the drop dead date for the NAC. Uh, I will not um, will not not be open for the 4th of July as an American. I think that's my right to do so. Uh, that will be three and a half months into social distancing and, and the shutdown, and, and I have no problem with that. But the, the fact is, come July 1, uh, I can't see it as an American uh, that my rights as a businessman at that point. Keep in mind, uh, again, I want to re reflect back, uh, all the guidelines for the industry were written out of our club through our relationship with the Surgeon General and the CDC. Kate Golden and Linda Mitchell spearheaded that effort with input from around the domestic industry, putting that together, best practices. There are clubs that open May 1 in other parts of the country. There has been, to our knowledge, not one issue with clubs opening up since May 1. In fact, in this area around here, within miles, a couple clubs have opened up as recently as May 23rd. And by the way, I, uh, I applaud them because they did what was right for them. I, and I'm, I'm happy for them. What I'm saying though, since they've been opened up for the last two weeks, not one issue, zero. So there's been a lot of people that are utilizing our guidelines in the club in industry. We'll have had two months to evaluate what needed to be tweaked, changed, or improved upon by the time we open up July 1. So I am very confident that we, when we do open up, if it is July 1, that we'll be ready, ready to go. That brings me to the next part. So as NAC members, I want to let you know that that is kind of in a capsule what we're doing. More details to come, but I'm very anxious to open up on June 6th. Uh, again, to get people back in the swing of things. Our camps are June 8th. Drop dead date July 1. At the latest, we're going to open up in time for 4th of July. And then that brings me to the next point which uh, Glenn Gaines from Reopen Bucks uh, basically brought this to my attention about a week and a half ago. Um, as a business fan, uh, Reopen Bucks is a, a platform of Bucks County business owners that have gotten together and have commiserated on, you know, the impact this has had on their businesses. And it's been tremendous when you think about the salons and bars and restaurants, the shoe store and the frame game, uh, framing business and all these little businesses that have been shut down by this, they've inflicted a lot of pain. Their life work, many of which are, are not going to make it. Um, they have agonized, which, you know, and, and, and the, the worst part of not being open is wondering when you're going to be reopened. I mean, that not having a date is a killer. My friend Baran McCarty, who owns 140 Club Lifetime Fitness, he thinks it's the biggest impediment to people when you don't have a starting date that's disastrous. Uh, that being said, we're, we're, you know, every two weeks we're waited with bated breath for the governor to come out and tell us what he's going to do next. Uh, I'm not making this political. The governor is, uh, he was duly elected. But I am making this about business and what we need to do to survive. And here's the bottom line. We're going to watch what the governor says on June 4th. Today he came out with a a ruling that's saying that outdoor dining was permitted. I think that's a great step in the right direction. I know my uh, friends in Newtown and other places in Bucks County are thrilled with that. Uh, but I, I will say this, 
On June 4th, what we're looking for is some kind of uh, acknowledgement, acknowledgement that this is going to be sooner than later. And what I mean by that is, if we get the sense that we're talking about July, as opposed to a June opening, I am going to encourage businesses in Bucks County, in solidarity with me, to open up on June 15th. Now, I will tell you this, if I open the entire club on June 15th, just so we don't have any mixed messages here, I will not be charging my members a dime. No charge for them. From June 15th all, when we open up the health club, there'd be zero charge. So I don't want any mixed message here. This is all about supporting my you know, uh, colleagues that are in business, whether it's the hair salon, the barber shop, the ice cream parlor, the restaurants, the bars, I will lead the charge. I will be willing to open up June 15th, provided the other ones uh, could, at that point, join in. That is if we get a, a, a bad read on June 4th. And what I mean by bad read is that, that we really have no timetable. Now, let's suppose, and, and I'm hopeful, and I think we're headed that way. I really am hopeful we're headed that way based on what the governor said today. That I do believe that on June 4th, in my heart of hearts, that he is going to see that the dam has broken everywhere, uh, particularly over this uh, last weekend with Memorial Day. Uh, people are out and about. They're doing things. They want to get active. I think that people have shown that they're capable of handling it. Handling it. I believe on the 4th he will come out and start letting us back to work, and I think he'll do it during the June time period. I, 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 I pray that he does. But if, in fact, that doesn't happen, I am calling on all the businesses in Bucks County to join me on June 15th to open up. Many of you have, have asked and hoped that somebody would take the lead. Many of you were, needed that little push, maybe a little courage. I'm willing to step out there for you, do that, take the bullet. Uh, you know, that's kind of goes with the territory. Uh, you know, it's funny. 42 years ago, I was three, three acres and 11,000 square feet, no bigger than a basketball court. So, you know, we gotten bigger over the years, but we're a small business, just like you. But I can't sit back anymore and watch. I mean, and watch people that I know go out of business or not be able to pay their bills. So I'm willing to do that, uh, and I know you guys are willing to do that. Let's stay tuned. Let's see what happens in the fourth, and we'll come out that night, and I think we'll have great direction. Um, for all of you that, uh, that I posted up on Reopen Bucks today, I appreciate your support. I'm going to be 100% behind you. Again, I want to assure there's no monetary reason for me to do this. In fact, by not charging the month of June, I will lose a million dollars in revenue. The last three months, I've lost over six million. That's a seven million dollar loss. I know people say, well, you know, he can this, that, and everything else. They, first of all, they don't know my personal situation. Second of all, uh, it's, it's a heavy lift. And we have construction going on right now. But the bottom line is, I don't want anybody to misconstrue why I'm supporting you. And I'm hoping that would give you guys the courage to do what's best for you. And if you can hold on and you don't have to open up, then that, so be it. But if you are one of the many that have reached out to me, I'm there to support you. And I think your community of business people, not just me, but the whole community is there to support you. Uh, last thing I want to say is uh, thank you, Sienna Grace. Uh, Kibbs up. Uh, Beast, who gave me this shirt. First time I've gotten to wear it. Thank you. Thanks for joining tonight. We'll talk to you on the